Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at Flashville and how it compares to text to columns and how it'll provide far more options and availabilities than you can get from the text to columns command. So let's see how we can use Flashville in Excel. So here I have a list of 10 names and what I want to do is separate into separate columns the first name and last name and eliminate the numbers 1 through 10 in the periods thereafter. And you can see the various information is separated by spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the list of names, go to the data tab and choose text to columns. Excel brings up the convert text to columns wizard dialog box and it asks if I have a delimiter or if I'm going to use a fixed width to separate it. I'm going to choose delimited because my space is the delimiter here and I'll click next. Then Excel is asking me well what is my delimiter? Space is already chosen but I could have chosen any one of these other delimiters or click here and entered one specifically that's not on the list. I'll leave it as space and you can see below in the preview Excel has separated the data into three columns. I'll click next and now it's a matter of choosing the format I want for each column. By default, it'll show them as general. In this case, I want to eliminate the first column because I don't need the numbers there. So after choosing that, I can select do not import column or skip. And notice it says skip there. Next, I want to choose where the data is going to go. So instead of entering the data starting in cell A2, I want to leave my original data. So I'm going to choose my range finder and click on cell B2 as the start of the destination that I want the data to go in. I can choose finish and Excel now puts all the first names in column B and the last names in column C and ignores the numbers that we had in our original text. And that was quite simple, but let's take a look how we could do something very similar. So if I go down to the second example I have here, all you need to do is type a couple examples of what the trend that you're trying to create is in Excel using Flash Fill will repeat that trend. So for example, if I type Lance, I hit enter, and as soon as I start typing Marshall, you can see Excel suggests what the flash fill should be. And I can hit enter and now Excel has provided a list of all the first names. If I go over to column C and start typing Higgins and start typing Smith, again, Excel guesses I want all the last names there and enters those. So I very simply, without having to go to any other commands, was able to duplicate what I did with text to columns much more quickly. But the nice part about Flash Fill is it can do so much more. Now if I hover over the command up in the data tab of Flash Fill, which was right next to text to columns, you can see I have a keyboard shortcut of Control E. So I don't even have to enter that second example. I can enter one, hit Control E, and Excel will finish the trend that I want to create. So for example, I can type Higgins, comma, Lance, hit enter and hit the keyboard shortcut control E and Excel finishes the rest by putting the last name, comma, and then the first name. I'll hit control Z, control Z. I can do something such as L period and type Higgins, enter, control E, and Excel gives me the first initial and last name. Or I'll undo that and just type, for example, just the initials, enter, control E, and again, Excel will just give me the initials. So you can do all types of unique things. I could rearrange them. I could add characters to them. Let's even try something differently. If I type L period Higgins, control enter, control B to bold it, and then control E, Excel will print all the rest of the names and bold them for me. I was even able to add some formatting to the text that Flash Fill was going to automatically create for me. So those are some of the great things that Flash Fill can do instead of text to columns 
in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.